Big Boss, can't poke, talk boxing. Let me tell you something, I walked outside my house, it's 10 in the morning, bro. I don't think it's 10 yet, it's, 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 it's 10. And um, it was 102 degrees, bro. Like, bro, it's 10 in the morning. What are we doing? You know, like, I'm like, oh my God. But that's Houston for you, man, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't live in Houston. I live on the outskirts. You know what I mean? I live in the country, you know, but my job is in Houston. That's why I'm currently driving right now to Houston. Straight down good old 288, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, I, you know, but like I said, I do live in the country, so it could be why it's hot term. But it's 102, bro. And let me tell you, 102 down here in Houston, with the humidity, feel like 115. Not lying to you. That heat bouncing off that water, man, it's 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 like suffocating heat, bro. I, I, I lie not. That mug is a different level of hot. Like, it's hot and you can't breathe. Bro, it's retarded. <laughs> You know, I stay in this car as much as possible, man. You know, <laughs> I'll be blowing on full blast. And, you know, it'll be about to fall out. Down here, you go to the stove and you you go out in this 102 degree weather. You go outside, you go, and when you get back home, you're going to take a nap. That's how hot it is. It make you want to take a nap. I digress, man. Big Boss Talk Box and talk about L. Spence, man. L. Spence on Terminator mode. L. Spence has been consistent. What you talking about? I'm talking about L. Spence's statements, his approach, his thoughts on this fight. He hasn't switched up his mentality when it comes to this fight with Terrence Crawford. Even dating back to when L. came out the accident, right? L. came out the accident. They say, man, you know, you, you know, you took a tune up. He said, I want to take Danny Garcia, right? And he made Danny Garcia look ordinary because really not that many people have made Danny Garcia look like that. You know what I mean? He always come ready to fight and he level up. That's what Danny Garcia can fight. He'll fight. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So, but he made him look ordinary, right? So then, I remember when Els was preparing for that fight against Danny Garcia. He was interviewed on All the Smoke, you know, with uh, I think Steve and uh, what's that boy name, Matt Barnes. And Errol said on them, "I'm gonna punish Terrence Crawford. Like, come, I'm gonna punish him. Not go. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, this, yeah, I'm gonna punish Terrence Crawford." This comes. You know? That's his mentality. I'm going to punish him. A year ago. You know? He was asked. I'm going to punish Terrence Crawford. All the interviews now lead up to the fight. Same thing. I'm going to punish Terrence Crawford. I'm going to break him. I'm gonna break him down. I'm gonna break him physically, mentally, and spiritually. I'm gonna break him. On a on a uh, what's that podcast name? The Pivot. I'm gonna punish Terrence Crawford. L. Spence is looking to punish Terrence Crawford. And let me tell you something. Terrence Crawford has not had that, bro. And we just gotta, we just gotta be real. Terrence Crawford's not fought a fighter like Earl Spence. He hasn't. Most of y'all say, oh, Earl hasn't fought a fighter like Terrence Crawford. I disagree. I think Earl Spence has fought many fighters that have a piece of Terrence Crawford in them. Hear me out. You got Kel Brook. Who's also a switch hitter. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? He switched in that fight against Earl Spence. Kel Brook is a switch hitter. Now, granted, 
I heard Dick James say this. So I went back and watched the fight. And I said, oh, where would you be there? That motherfucker in there switching. That mate is in there switching. Oh, shit. L took that shit away. It didn't matter. You see what I'm saying? Leonard Bundu switches. Right? So the whole switching, I don't think that would be an advantage. If anything, I think it'll be a disadvantage for Terrence. It's not going to mean anything. Right? So then, but I digress. I, uh, Kepler, Lena Bundu, right? Then, when it comes to power, Kepler, Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia hit. You know what I'm saying? He got some, he got some pop. He heavy-handed. You know what I mean? Athleticism, Sean Porter. So El Spence has seen a little. El Spence has seen Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is all those fighters and one, right? Only thing about Terrence Crawford, he's more athletic than fundamentally sound. And I'm gonna drop a separate video about that later, talking about how Terrence Crawford is a is an athletic fighter. He's he's not that funny. I'm not saying that his fundamentals are. He don't have none. I'm just saying he don't rely on them. He don't use them. He relies on his athleticism. That's what he relies on. That's that's the type of fighter he is, right? But L. Spence has seen Terrence Crawford. It's just in different opponents that he's fought. Terrence Crawford has not seen a fighter like L. Spence. He ain't seen a fighter as relentless as L. Spence is. And I'm telling you this. Pay attention to words. You ever notice how people are saying if it go 12, it favors L. But if it's a knockout, then it's Bud, right? Because they're taking the approach of Bud got to knock Errol out, right? Bud is looking for that perfect shot, right? Listen to the words. Listen to what people are saying. They, they like, man, shit, man, Bud, he got, he got to knock Errol out. Even above buddies are admitting he got to knock Errol out. Now, me personally, do I think he'll knock Errol out? Negative. That's just my opinion. But it's boxing, anything can happen. But L. Spence has remained consistent in his statements. That's the point of this video. He's been remained consistent. And whatever he say he going to do, he do it. I mean, look what he said about this fight. He told Terrence to his face, he told the world, I'm gonna get all these belts and then we gonna fight for Undisputed. He's been saying that from the jump. And everything he said, like I said, it's rare that you find a guy in this boxing game that can sit there and say something and then do it, right? L. Spence is big on what he say. So he sit here and he tell you this is what I'm going to do. He's doing it. That's just what it is. I know the way to slice it. I know the way to dice it. If that man sit there and say, hey, bro. I'm fighting you. And then I'm going to fight you. That's what's going to happen. He doing that. L. Spence tell you, I'm going to punish you. That's what's going to happen. He's going to... And like I said, he's going to attempt to do that. You know? That's just what it is. L. Spence said, hey, I'm stepping. He's stepping. You know, Terrence, you know, I don't know. Because Terrence will say one thing over here and then go over here and say another thing. Then come over here and say another thing. Like it was a, a video I watched earlier. And shout out to Bice Ego. The dude, uh, Bud talked about you know he talked about resumes don't matter you know at the end of this fight and I told y'all I got a video coming soon how Bud admitted that he hasn't fought top fighters so all y'all Bud buddies buckle up cause I got a video coming you see what I'm saying but it's like man come on bro Like Terrence has been all over the place in his statements Earl has been consistent his actions have been consistent L. Spence has been more consistent out of these two dudes. Really out of a lot of people. Because 
Whatever he say he gonna do, he gets done. This fight, right, gets Terrence Crawford. His team was telling him, hey, bro, you giving up too much. You know, this bad business. Like, let's go do something else. They'll say, nah, give him what he want. Give it to him. I want this fight. That goes to show you how bad this motherfucker wanted this fight. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. L finna break that motherfucker, dog. <laughs> that's, that's what it is, bro. And I know y'all not gonna like that. You know? Like I say, I could be wrong. Terrence can get in there and prove me wrong. And, hey, I come on here and congratulate him. You know what I mean? It's not personal for me. I'm looking at Errol Spence actions. I'm looking at him as a fighter. You know what I'm saying? And over his body of work. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at Bud, body of work. I'm looking at statements. Everything goes in when it comes to this fight. I'm like... Man, Errol, man, he, he... He, whatever he say he do, he do it. Like, that's just what it is. Y'all Bud brothers can continue to be delusional about that shit. Whatever this motherfucker say he gonna do, it gets done. So if this nigga say, hey, bro, I'm going to break your fucking eye, guess what? Your eye can be broke. That's what it is. He not coming in there to play, bro. I don't think y'all understand how psychotic and sick in the head you got to be to punish somebody for 12 rounds. See, Bud just want to snipe you. He, oh. And he's, you know, stick his tongue out, do the hollow shake around the ring. Errol will punish you for 12 rounds, then come shake your hand. Hey, man, uh, hey, man, you're a warrior, bro. I just want to, you know, respect. What? Nigga, you just, bro, I can't see. I'm bleeding out my eye. But that's what L Spence do. That's the type of fighter he is, you know what I'm saying? So... Much respect to uh, L. You know, much respect to Bud. But like I keep saying, at the end of the day, spray to spray, L. Spence is going to punish. And I'm putting emphasis on punish Terrence Crawford. It's going to be bad, bro. Like, it's not going to be good. This fight, I mean, dude, I don't know. He might retire after this, man. You know, we'll see. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss, go.